Hey guys, Danish here, we're back. And um, everyone's managed to hit level 50. Christ almighty, some of them were quite frustrating. As you can imagine, Mr. Sparkle was very frustrating to level up. Jesus, that took about 40, 45 minutes, around about. I'm not sure, I think I stopped at about 25 past 8. I think that's when we got to the plateau. Do I say about between 30 to 40 minutes? But I've just been mash I've just been having both fingers mashing left and right, just going through the wild battles for this for over half an hour. And my hand is killing me now. Right. But everyone's level 50, so I reckon we are ready. Switching Mr. Sparkle up front. Actually, you know what? I'll save it now in case I have to redo it. Look at that, 25 and a half hours because of all turboing. That's all the off-screen training I've been doing throughout the entire playthrough. Thank God that's not the amount of time that it's going to be marked that's going to take the end actual playthrough itself. I'm able to buy 56 full restores, that's pretty good. But I'll settle with 25, that's more than enough I'm sure. Revives, I have 20. I'll grab another 5 just to be safe, I know I'm not going to use that many. Now, let's review what items we have. Um, let's have a look. Ether, two ethers, one, two max ethers, an elixir, 32 full heals, two max revives, 25 full restores. Where's a max elixir? Did I even make an appearance? 25 revives. Okay, I reckon we are ready. Dugon will be our first opponent. Let's do this! I can't believe we're here already. Right. Flareon is not a good matchup against Dugon, considering it's also part water. Which both resists fire and, of course, it has water moves. Right then, Dugon level 52. Oh shit. Thunderbolts. Problem is, it has good speed, Mr. Sparkle. But, when it takes hits, it goes down like glass. I should consider myself lucky, Dugong ends up using Safeguard. And I've forgotten, I've still got a ton of Hyper Potions as well. So I have to waste the full restores in between battles. Cloister, okay. Stick Mr. Sparkle. On a roll, man. Shit, I should have got thunder from the uh, fucking uh, power plant. Oh, oh no, oh well. Slowbro. Again, Mr. Sparkle. I know he has high defenses. Not sure how offensive Slowbro is, though. Ooh, okay, that was good. Ooh, you yawn. Next turn he goes next turn he falls asleep. Use his time to take out Slowbro. Lapras. Okay, I'll change over to Shell Shock just to take the hits. Just to take a few of the hits while I um Oh, no way, I just realised now I've swapped out. Don't need to, um... Don't need to worry about sleep now. Oh, wow, flinched, okay. How much damage will Surf do? Oh, it has water absorb. Fuck. Do I dare send out Victory Bell? Fuck! Shell shot. No shell. Oh my god, I am terrible. Pollinator. That's what it is. Fucking pollinator. I'm sending out. I don't care. I've got Giga Drain. Ice doesn't resist grass. Good. Didn't get paralyzed. That didn't do much. Not at all. Oh, there's Ice Beam. Shit. 
and didn't survive. Lapras is going to be a problem. Quite a problem. Mr. Sparkle, get your ass out of here. Thunderbolt. That was good. Confuse Ray. Oh, shit. This is going to prove quite a problem. Citrus Berry. Yes! I think that's all I needed to take out Lapras. Lapras is down! No one fucks with Mr. Sparkle. Jinx is up now. Final Pokemon. Matchstick will deal with Jinx. It's not. It's Ice and Psychic. Fire Blast, just to be safe. But then again, Fire Blast might miss. Fuck it, Flamethrower. Ah. Oh, why is Jinx so fast? I don't understand the speed behind Jinx. Nor its move logic. Ice Punch. It, it's, it's just why? Fast asleep, of course it is. Okay, Jinx is just spamming Ice Punch, so it shouldn't be too bad. Woke up! There we go, sorted. Burn it! Burn that motherfucker! And it survived. Attract! Fuck! Attract! I despise it, I really do. Oh my god. Oh my god, Colosseum. But Mastic doesn't give a shit. Fucking beautiful. I just had a horrific flashback of Colosseum the first time. I fought um, Venus, Lady Venus, you know, the one with the fucking Suicune. Surely, I've already had that part uploaded at the time of this recording, so just look it up. She spans a tract. It's fucking, it's frost fucking straighting. Yes, that deserves an extra fucking. Revive. Pollinator. Right. Bruno's up next. He has, I think, two Onyxes. Hitmonlee, Hitmonchan, and a Machamp. Starts off with Onyx, so either Shellshock or Pollinator would be a decent choice. Potion, right. I think everyone's alright for PP. Ex um, well, actually, I'll have a look at uh, Thunderbolt. Nope. Fucking go up. Okay. That is some good speed. 8 out of 15. That'll do for now. Okay, so wait, hang on. Let's switch. Let's give Pollinator a shot. Oh, yeah. Pollinator actually. Less than 3,000 XP from levelling up. Just because I had to have Pollinator be used as a stand-in when Mr. Sparkle faced up against the wild Onyxes. I didn't want to waste the, ex uh, the XP, so I just switched out. Just to give the extra XP. But I came across a lot of Onyxes. And it's clicking. Bruno, okay. Level 51 on X. I reckon Vine Whip will be enough. And of course, it's enough. Come on, Chan. He's going to be a bit more of a problem than Lee, considering he can have Ice Punch. That can get Fire, Thunder, Ice. Not Shadow. Mega Punch. He can, I believe, have Sky Uppercut. Ooh, he has Rock Tomb. It's a fairly weak move, it's a bit inaccurate, and he doesn't get stabbed from it. And he missed! That's what I mean. Fuck you, Bruno. Fuck you. Oh, 
Alright, here we go. I know he actually hasn't gone down, but I just want to use Aerial Ace anyway. So let's do some PP. Macham. Why would you send out Mach? You should have sent out Onyx, dickhead. 56. Featherface is the only Pokemon I have with advantage over the guy. But I'm going to go ahead and guess he has some high defenses. Ooh. Wait. Right, so he just uses scary things. Fuck your citrus berry! You dickhead! Find wing attack. Oh no, I hate cross chop so much. Oh shit. He's gonna heal up again, isn't he? No, he's gonna twat me. Alright, just because of the speed, I'm sending out uh, Mr. Sparkle. Proving more useful than I thought. Very close to leveling up. Matchamp is down. Shut up, Jay. You've been silent for ages. I thought I was free. The chair has been awfully quiet lately. I must admit. Oh shit, he's level 54, I didn't realise. But he's still got one hit. That was pathetic. Hitmon Lee is next. He actually has a disadvantage against Pollinator, considering fighting types don't affect poison much. Ooh, sleep powder. Let's be a dickhead. But it missed. Of course it missed. And of course, Mega Kick lands a hit. Okay, Pollinator is down. That didn't go to plan. Earthshaker. If he twats me, poison point. And now he misses. Oh, that was heavy damage, man. And there's the full restore. Why didn't he use that on Machan? That could have screwed me over so much. Right, what I gotta think about now is how I'm gonna deal with the next fight. I suppose I could end up using Earthshaker with Mega Horn. But then again, it's mostly poison types. I suppose it depends on who comes out first. I think Gengar is out first. I think it's Gengar, a ho uh, two Gengars, a Haunter, and two Arbox. I think that's what Agatha has. And one thing I forgot, I should really teach Shellshock Blizzard. Get rid of Water Gun. It's one way to deal with the uh, with the um, dragon types. Get rid of Water Gun. I don't think Water Gun is gonna be a useful move at all. I wait. No, what am I doing? I have a potion. Let's check out. Uh, now I need to revive Pollinator and Featherface. Computer! That's a bit better. Sorry, that was just me twatting the computer. That does sometimes quieten it down. And one more Hyper Potion. I think I might just send out Shell Shock 